If you think you have a peripheral vascular disease, if you walk a few blocks and you feel pain or crampy pain in your calf, you might be having symptoms from a blocked artery. To know if you're a candidate, if you have risk factors, if you smoke, you have diabetes, you can ask your primary care doctor to see if you need to be evaluated by a vascular specialist. If that's the case, we'll do a non-invasive evaluation and upon the results, we'll correlate with the symptoms, we'll decide if you need an angioplasty or just maybe start on a walking program to improve the symptoms. Of course, you have to quit smoking. We will take care of the diabetes, of all the other risk factors. But if you do really need a treatment for peripheral vascular disease, there are non-invasive ways to treat it with an angioplasty or a stent, and eventually you may need a surgical bypass. So we need to evaluate you in the office and decide and give the best treatment option. Everybody is different. Not everybody will need the same treatment. We'll decide from the least invasive to the more invasive way to treat peripheral vascular disease. Once peripheral vascular disease is diagnosed and the risk factors are under control, there's always a risk of progression and the arteries can continue to be blocked. From basic simple claudication to severe critical limb ischemia, there's a range of different, a, a large number of procedures that can be done. Do not wait to have a progression of disease to seek for help. The earlier we treat it, the earlier we diagnose, we make the diagnosis, the better the results at the end.